This is Chelsea from digitalartteacher.com. Now to go through some of these effects. With the selection tool, select one of your shapes. The appearance section of the properties panel is where we're going to be working. Beginning with opacity. Opacity is simple enough. Drag down the scale and it makes it less opaque. Drag up the scale and it makes it more opaque. One instance where this might make sense to use would be if you wanted to put your shape in front of your text, but you wanted to still be able to see the text. I'll show you what I mean. I'll have to cut this shape and place it on the text layer. And now lower the opacity. For my specific design, this doesn't look very good, so I will leave it the way that it is. Other effects can be applied here in the effect icon. Clicking on it will show you a list of the effects available. And then inside here, you have more options for each effect that you choose. You do need to be careful about selecting too many effects at once. Doing so can make it a little overwhelming to the eye. For my design, I'm just going to choose Drop Shadow. But you can feel free to try any of these effects that you see. I'll go through some of the things in your options for the Drop Shadow. If you can't see what you're doing, check the Preview box here, and it will allow you to preview your effect. You can leave Multiply here. It simply means that you can see through your shadow. Opacity, of course, makes it so that your shadow is more opaque or less opaque. The distance has to do with how far away your shadow is. And the angle has to do with where the shadow is coming from. I'll keep it at that to make things simple. Changing too much can sometimes make things confusing. And I'll apply the same effects down here below. But since I know I want to do it to all of my shapes, I'll select all of them at once and preview the effect. You might notice that this looks a little strange. This is because the blue is below the orange. So I'm going to place the orange above so that it has the overlapping effect that I'm going for. And now it's your turn. Play around with the different effects available within the properties panel. But remember, if you apply an effect on the page, you may need to repeat it throughout the pages to make it look balanced and unified. And once you've done that, take a deep breath because you're finished. Thank you so much for joining me on this magazine building adventure. I hope that you've learned a lot and that you come back to see me soon. So until next time, happy designing everyone.